Uh, what initially got me into b-boying was, was when I was in the seventh grade, my friend had shown me a video of a guy breakdancing. Uh, and I was so amazed by the moves, that, like, I thought to myself, like, one day, you know, I want to be able to do that kind of stuff. So breaking is a type of dance that originated in the streets of New York. The four elements of breaking consist of top rock, footwork, power move, and freezes. Breaking in itself is very complex. Every move and every step we do has a certain reason or purpose to it. And the thing that separates breaking the most um, from other dance styles is, you know, we live for battle. And battles are where we go head to head with other breakers and we just kind of have like a conversation, reply to each other, kind of like a debate. He goes out there, he throws his main point, we rebuttal, we do that. Um, in the end, one winner comes out. Um, but it's not always about winning. In the end game of breaking is you know, to earn respect and most importantly, have fun. So Southside Breakers was established in 2015. We actually started off as a club back in high school. Um, the funny thing is actually b-boying was actually banned in high school. It wasn't until we got a new principal, my friend got a petition to get it approved. And once he got it approved, he started the club up, he invited me, and from there we took off. Back in high school, we used to be, um, we had more free time. We used to practice every single day. But you know, as soon as we graduated, we got jobs, college, a bunch of, we're just, um, it's a busier life in general, and we don't have much time to practice. We usually practice about maybe like two times, two times a week at the most, compared to every day before. Um, B buying has impacted my life for the better, I would say. I met some of my closest friends through breaking, and this really made me into the person I am today. Like without breaking, I really, I would say, I would have nothing. Like it really sculpted me into who I am. It's my personality. It's my like my lifestyle. What I like about B buying is the feeling of having um, power and being able to express yourself in a physical way. The power moves, that's what I like about that. It's like just people flying in the air, it's just throwing bombs everywhere. It's pretty, it's pretty sick. The thing that I like about Southside Breakers is how everyone is so close. Um, you, you're basically family. Everyone treats each other like if they were blood. We're a really good team. Um, we spread positivity and good vibes and all we do is have a good time and show people what we got. You know, I've been with these guys for like soon to be four years. I respect them as brothers and sisters, you know what I mean? So we just like, you know, we're a group of family, just learn, teamwork, do performances, battle, soon to hopefully fly out of here on the island and you just keep striving for more. The future of Southside Breakers is really, um, we want to try and dance as far as long as we can, just be, you know, in the community, just vibing out with everyone, throwing events, battling. Ultimately, we want to, you know, be able to fly out eventually as a crew and not only just compete, just experience what it's like to be in the mainland. And eventually, you know, we just want to win a jam together as a crew. And um, my thoughts for us, Hawaii b-boying, uh, right now, it's kind of on the decline, like, there's not much breakers in Hawaii at the moment, like, it's only the people that used to do it back in the day who are still doing it, plus a couple, uh, just a couple other guys. But, you know, we just continue to hope to, to grow the community in Hawaii by teaching and spreading the love in hip-hop culture. Vivo in Hawaii is a really small community, so everyone that you see that go to events, everyone over there knows each other. Um, there's not as much big events here in Hawaii, but the community is really small and I would really love for it to grow more. Recently posted on social media, I've heard that breaking is going to be taken to 2020 Olympics in Tokyo, Japan, if I'm not mistaken. This will really impact the breaking community, especially since it's a really, really small a type of form of dance. It's not really recognized as much anymore, especially since this was a dance back in the 80s. Hopefully this would change that um, and people will look at breaking more often and hopefully you know are inspired to do so and to you know try to learn uh, about the culture of it it's going strong it's it's going to keep on growing and southside breakers i feel like we are just going to keep getting better and we're going to spread our knowledge and show what we got to the whole world for the future wise i would suggest like whoever wants to dance whoever wants to keep going just do it, stay on the positive side, don't think of the negativity, 
have fun with yourself, just keep going. And you know, like, whatever we inspire, give you knowledge is, just keep going at it. Breaking is something I've been doing close to seven years now. And like throughout my experiences, I've learned so much things about the culture, you know? It's not only just another type of dance, it's an art form, a culture, it's a lifestyle. Like, I feel like breaking is really misunderstood by a lot of people. People think we're just people that like spin on the ground, but there's so much more to it. And I hope that you get to like, you know, just learn about what we do and what we love.